Hello again, welcome back. Today I am going to be sharing a few made well finds. Some are new to me, I just purchased them. And then some of them I've had for a while and I felt that as I started collecting items from Madewell, it'd be a good idea to start sharing those with you so that you know the things that I personally love and have actually tried on and worn. Madewell just concluded their Madewell Insider sale, which I went on and on and on about it on my Instagram. If you're not following me there, go ahead and follow me there. And then also don't forget to sign up for my newsletters as well. I'm gonna leave all of that down below so that you can either go ahead and follow me on Instagram and subscribe to my newsletter. I, again, and kept going on every single day about Madewell. So their latest sale was an insider sale. Insider is basically like a loyalty program, so anybody can sign up. You just go to the website, you know, just like they always want your email, so just give them their email and you would be eligible for that sale. It's not the best sale in my opinion. This one was 25% off site-wide, which is pretty good, but sometimes they have sales going on for like 40% off. Granted, it's not site-wide. Sometimes they have it on just the denim or sometimes it's like last season stuff, but they are always constantly having sales. So if you're a fan of Madewell, then just keep on watching. Okay, I figured we start with my tried and true items that I have worn again and again and again for months, and that is their jeans. I'm newly converted to Madewell, so I was usually like an Abercrombie Levi's girl. Now after trying Madewell and actually buying a few of their jeans, I am like a complete like advocate for Madewell. The jeans are amazing. I will say they are a little bit on the pricier side. So while I usually shell out maybe like $70, $80 for jeans, a lot of their jeans do usually run about $128. But again, they're always having sales and a lot of the time when they have those 40% off sales, it's for the jeans. The first one I'm actually wearing right now, these are the Cali Demi boot cut and they are just a cropped pair of jeans that has a slight like flare at the bottom and I just think they're super, super cute, especially for spring and summer. Because they are cropped, they easily highlight your footwear. In this case, it'd probably be heels or sandals, but I just think it looks really, really cute and I really love this wash. It's a little bit of a darker wash and I feel like it just pairs really well with browns and like camel tones. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. My next pair is the perfect vintage jean. Again, I have gone on and on and on about this pair of jeans. This is like your classic, like run of the mill, like just vintage jean. I mean, they just fit really, really well. These are high waisted and there is a slight taper here at the end. They just fit really well. So if you're somebody who cannot let go of the skinny jean, then I think this will be a really good alternative because it's still fitted to the leg, but it's not like an actual skinny jean where it's gonna like completely suffocate your ankle. I really love this wash. This is the Heathcote wash and it's just like a very nice between light and medium wash. And I think it's just a great like everyday pair of jeans. I absolutely love these jeans. The one thing I will say is that you do have to size down. So I'm usually a size 28 and in the Cali Demi boot cut, I did get a size 28, but I have noticed as I walk around, there is a little bit of a stretch that happens, like it stretches out a little bit. You definitely want to get like one size lower. So in the Perfect Vintage, I actually got a size 27. As soon as I wash them, yes, they're a little bit snug, but as soon as I start walking around, they tend to stretch out a little bit, not where you're going to have like saggy butt or anything, but it's just, it's going to get very, very comfortable and kind of just mold to your body. So definitely the Perfect Vintage jeans is like the go-to. Now there is the perfect vintage straight jeans, which is going to be a little bit more of a straight leg. It's just the perfect vintage. Um, I think there's one that's a little bit more of a wider leg. Um, I wasn't a fan of that just because I'm already hippie. I don't need any more width, um, but these I absolutely just love. Okay, and then rounding up my jeans from Madewell is these. These are another Cali Demi boot cut but these are a different wash. They're more of like a faded black. And then it also has the raw hem. So it's a little more of a casual look. I love the raw hem. It's just very, very comfortable pair of jeans. I feel like these have a lot more stretch than my blue ones as well. They're very comfortable. It has a bit of a stretch. So again, size down one, but I just really liked this color. I actually got this in the fall and I just felt like this color was really pretty for fall and winter. I am absolutely obsessed with the Cali Demi boot jeans. Okay, next I have three items that I purchased during the Madewell Insider sale. One of them were the shorts. I am on the hunt for some shorts that are not tight and restricting, but just more flowy and more capsule wardrobe type. And I found these. 
which I did not even try these on in the store. I was like kind of done with trying things on and I saw these when I was about to check out and I was like, oh, I really like the shade of those. So these are just like some linen cotton blend shorts. They have pockets as well. There is a very comfortable waistband here in the back. So there is stretch. If there is no belt, which I kind of wish that they did have a belt, but I still feel like it falls really pretty as a flat front. So I think it, it just falls really pretty. Now after wearing it a couple times here in the house, I feel like I probably could have gone with a small. I usually always get mediums. I hover between like a 27, 28 in the bottoms. So I'm always getting a medium. Um, and I feel like maybe they're just a little bit oversized. So I feel like you could probably size down one, especially because you have this elastic waistband here in the back. I really liked these shorts. I feel like they're just quintessential like spring summer wardrobe staple and the color is just very very pretty i love it um, not too short not too um, like revealing for us moms um, just a really great pair of shorts okay next i have this little tank again i'm not very comfortable with crop tops but i paired this with the shorts and the shorts were a little bit high-waisted so these kind of just like met in the middle and that way i wasn't revealing any of my midriff so i felt comfortable wearing this crop top but yes it is a crop top but even with these jeans which are high-waisted they would still meet like right there so if you're kind of on the fence or you're kind of like me or just like crop tops you're just not there yet um or you just don't feel comfortable wearing them then i think that this will be okay this is more of like a sweater material now i did get some self tanner here around the arm so now i need to wash it absolutely love like stark white in spring and summer i think it's just gorgeous especially you start getting a little bit of tan or in my case faux tan um i think it just looks really really nice but i like this white tank it's just a v-neck ribbed sweaterish material very stretchy just, you know like a really good staple item to have for your spring and summer wardrobe okay and then finally is the skirt this has like very cute little like daisy print i thought that this was just super cute it's a wrap skirt so you can wrap it around i got a size medium it is adjustable because of the wrap like literally it's one big long thing and then you just wrap it around um very secure now i'm the type that i'm kind of on the fence on skirts i love the way they look but again because i'm a little hippie i have a little bit of you know backside sometimes the skirts are just too fitted or too short and uncomfortable for me but this one was just very flowy it was right below my fingertips so i felt very comfortable granted of course i would wear shorts underneath but i didn't feel like it was restricting i didn't feel like it was high highlighting my hips or anything like that it just fell really really pretty and again paired with the white tank i'm going to show you a picture of how i styled it with that and i just really liked the way that those two looked so this skirt was just very cute again kind of went outside of my comfort zone and got the skirt and i am not disappointed those are my madewell favorites again don't forget to sign up for their insiders program so that that way you can get in on the discounts at Madewell. I also wanted to remind you that my latest April lookbook is live at Bella Style Living. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave the link down below if you wanna sign up. I think I have about 15 different April like styled looks. I have things that you'll be wearing to either work, there's a fly, if you have like Easter brunch, or if you have a bridal luncheon, just a bunch of outfit ideas that you can instantly shop through the lookbook. So y'all go check it out, let me know what y'all think. As always, all the items that I shared with you today will be linked down below for you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and we'll chat soon. Bye!